Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel. In recent days, Binance US has been in the headlines a lot in the world of crypto and even in mainstream media, uh, thanks to the, the SEC and various parts of the United States federal government bearing down on it. Uh, there's been all sorts of negative occurrences, uh, many of them alarming. Uh, in, in fact, as I'll cite at the start of this video, People in high positions, including the CEO, they have left Binance. And you know, you know what's kind of interesting, though, is there's a new CEO at Binance US. And uh, on one platform, um, one media, crypto media outlet, they said that he's just interim CEO. Everywhere else I looked, um, they say he's he is the CEO everywhere else that I saw anyway. I just thought I'd notice that because there's a small discrepancy. Uh, but, but the new CEO of Binance US is a former Ripple employee. But not just any former Ripple employee. He used to be Ripple's top in-house, uh, in, top in-house lawyer. He was their general counsel, uh, and I found that to be fascinating. And so, a couple of things, and I'll just put this warning out here at the outset. And nothing against Bi. I actually like Binance. I like Binance US. I hope that there's nothing wrong there. I hope there's nothing actually shady going on, as the government would have us believe. I don't have any reason to believe they're doing anything actually illegal. Just to be clear here. Um, but I just, I don't think it's safe to have money on any exchange and especially, especially when I see flight of major executives at a, at a platform, to me, that's a red flag, uh, that, that, that causes concern. I know it, it, it perhaps is entirely unfair to Binance that they're put in this situation. It may be, but it still is the case. It is what it is. I'm just looking out for my funds and I hope you're doing the sell, you're doing the same for your own funds here. But, um, attorney John Deaton had something to say about this. Um, he thinks that perhaps, uh, there, in, in part anyway, this could be good news. Uh, and uh, Attorney Hogan doesn't seem to be as convinced. But I want to give you full context of what their statements are, so I'll do that as we get into this video. But before going further, I do want to be clear, I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. All right, just to set the table a little bit for anybody that may have missed this because it's highly relevant to what we're talking about here, uh, here's a headline from a couple days ago from Coindesk. Binance U.S. Head of Legal and Chief Risk Officer Leaving the Crypto Exchange, Wall Street Journal. Binance US has lost two more high-level executives not long after the crypto exchange lost CEO Brian Schroeder amid intensifying regulatory scrutiny. Head of legal Krishna Javadi and chief risk officer Sidney Majala, Majalia, I don't know, I'm probably butchering that, are leaving the company, the Wall Street Journal reported, citing people familiar with the departures. Uh, Javadi was hired in May last year and Majalia was appointed in December of 2021. The departures come after Binance US CEO said its CEO, Binance said its CEO rather, Brian Schroeder, has left the crypto exchange and the company has eliminated one third of its workforce. So that's obviously alarming. And I think that a lot of this likely has to do with just the, the, uh, the attacks against the company, uh, you know, from the government perspective. Uh, but it's also interesting to note that even before this, there has been high turnover, I'd say, in the CEO position at Binance US. Do you guys remember Catherine Coley? Now, this is interesting too. Catherine Coley, uh, bef before being the CEO of Binance US, she also was a Ripple employee. And I can't remember her position off the top of my head, but um, if memory serves, she was CEO there for maybe, I don't know, more or less a year, I want to say. And then you had uh, Brian Brooks take over for her. Brian Brooks was at Binance US as CEO for like a few months. And then I believe the very next one was this Brian Schroeder guy, and now he's gone. And now we've got a fourth CEO, and this one also happens to be a former Ripple employee. <laughs> what is going on here? This is wacky, right? I've never heard of such a thing. I mean, I mean, I, I know there can be high turnover in, in, in companies like these, but at the CEO level, like this, like, like a new one for every season, what's going on? Um, and so there's a headline here from the other day, too. Binance CEO responds to rumors says U.S. executive is taking a deserved break. And so this is, they're talking about CZ, the, the CEO of Binance, the entity itself, not Binance U.S. And this is an interesting way of wording this because look, look at the headline it resulted in, which is technically an accurate headline, but the CEO is gone. The CEO of Binance U.S., he is gone. And so when you say taking a deserved break, it makes it sound like he's coming back as CEO later. No, that is not what's happening. He is absolutely gone. I, he, what he means is he's taking a break in general. I guess he's going to, uh, find greener pastures, something like he's going to go discover himself, some crap like that. So he just, he just tried to word it all softly. But to me, that's like a manipulative way to word what's actually occurring here. But what it, what it is what it is. I'm just noting it. And so then brings us to this story. XRP has long history with new Binance CEO Norman Reed. 
Following recent reports of the exit of Binance U.S. Chief Executive Officer Brian Schroeder on September 13th, 2023, the entity's chief legal officer, Norman Reed, was said to have taken over the role in the interim. However, recent reports reveal that the company has proposed to name Reed as the permanent replacement for the CEO position. Also, Norman Reed is said to have had a long history with Ripple uh, that dates back to 2015. And that's true. So he was the, uh, he was the head legal guy at Ripple, uh, general counsel, and that role is now filled by Stuart Aldrotty, a name that you're probably familiar with at this point. But uh, yeah, it was uh, Norman Reed back in the day. And so there is a post from uh, Gokstein at Gokstein Media who wrote, bro- uh, wrote breaking, uh, reports are stating that ex-SEC and Federal Reserve Bank of New York official Norman Reed has been named the new CEO of Binance US. More to come. Yeah, and so there's more to Norman's background than just this. Uh, yeah, ex-SEC official as well. And oh, and I got a kick out of this. <laughs> Any Walking Dead fans out there? I like that show for like, a couple of seasons, I don't know, a few seasons, and then it just, I, I don't know. How many of you, actually, let, let me, I'm not going to ask if you, if you stopped watching The Walking Dead after you started. I'm going to ask this. When did you stop watching The Walking Dead? Just tell me when you stopped watching, because I know everybody stopped watching. Let me know. I don't know, maybe some of you made it through the end. But anyway, the reason I'm even mentioning this is because um, somebody responded here uh, to this, this news about Norman Reed and wrote, The Guy from The Walking Dead. I just thought that was funny. The Guy from Walking Dead? Because Norman Reedus, you know, who is an actual actor in the in the series. Anyway, I thought it was funny. But uh, here, attorney John Deaton reposted that and wrote, Norman Reed used to be the general counsel of Ripple. His signature is on the 2015 FinCEN DOJ settlement with Ripple, which classified XRP a convertible virtual currency. By the way, Katie Hahn signed the settlement agreement on behalf of the DOJ. As part of the settlement, Norman Reed on behalf of Ripple, agreed to hire an independent auditor approved by the DOJ who would provide FinCEN with an audit of all XRP sales for five years. Of course, pursuit... Oh, by the way, folks, this next sentence I'm reading, listen up here, because this I I was unaware of. It makes sense, but I I had not heard this before. He says, of course, pursuant to an information-sharing agreement between FinCEN and the SEC, the SEC had full access to all of the auditor's XRP sales reports. Okay, so that... Totally believable, not not hard to believe at least actually. Um, I just hadn't made the assumption that there was that level of you know communication and file sharing between these agencies because that's not always the case from agency to agency in the United States, but here apparently it is. Uh, that's not good for Ripple, and so maybe that's part of why we saw what we saw for the last two and a half years. And then Attorney Deaton says, "I've always maintained that the SEC and the U.S. government knew more about Ripple than any other company involved in crypto." That really places the lawsuit in perspective now, doesn't it? Norman Reed not jumping ship and staying with Binance could be a positive sign, but then again, shrug emoji. Um, And here is what attorney Jeremy Hogan had to say in response. I'm not sure about this. When your general legal counsel is becoming your CEO, that doesn't seem like a growth plan. And so to that, I say fair enough, uh, especially in the context of uh, you know, this being the fourth CEO that's coming in, uh, Brian Schroeder just left, uh, lost a third of their workforce, including top, uh, you know, legal and, and risk uh, positions in the C-suite. Not exactly a good sign here. And uh, here's what Attorney Deaton said in response. I don't disagree with you. Ever since the DOJ, SEC, CFTC lawsuits, I've assumed Binance US is likely not going to be a part of the future. I guess I was more thinking that since he didn't jump ship like others, Maybe that could be seen as a positive in a mostly negative world. Yeah, and so I think that's pretty reasonable, honestly. Uh, And I'm concerned about the long-term viability of Binance US specifically because of this here. And there's all sorts of allegations of shadiness from the government, but I'm not taking that on face value. Uh, Certainly not. So, I I mean, to me, it's it's just the government attack is the part that's upsetting me, but it, it does lead me to have great concern. So if you have anything on Binance US, just keep that in consideration, because to me, that seems incredibly risky. But do you guys do what you want. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau.